it's just not working for me. It's not tempered correctly, and it's not going to set. Why? I can kiss the immunity goodbye. Creating a dish that's not what it seems. I think it's a really fun challenge. I mean, it's very playful. It's like a PT session. <laughs> the dish I'm making tonight is a Chinese money plant. There's going to be flavors of Earl Grey and orange. I want this dish to look like this beautiful Chinese money plant. So in the pot, part of the dessert, we've got all the layers. I'm tempering chocolate for the actual pot and all of the individual twigs and all of the delicate petals on top. Doing milk and dark chocolate. All together, I have about nine elements to do. That's a lot more than me. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got three hours, and Emery is the king of chocolate. So, yeah, a little bit of pressure at the moment. I feel safe, that's for sure, for now. But just because I won yesterday and got the immunity pin doesn't mean I'm going to slow down and slack off. I'm going to try to keep up the standard. Of course, Dan is always going to be high. Everyone's pulling out some amazing dishes. I'm just going to make sure I'm, I'm up there as well. Winning immunity from the next elimination would mean a lot. So tonight, I really want to push myself. I want to make two desserts and disguise it into one. You know, give it a bit of a twist. Hey, Ray. What are you doing? I'm uh, making a pair of desserts. A pair of desserts? Yes. Elaborate, please. Uh, so it's a play on words. So the idea is to have a pear on a plate that isn't really a pear. The pear doesn't taste like a pear. It looks like a pear. But these flavours are tiny with yuzu and some fennel and mint. The idea is to have that pear flavour below the pear, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see the complete picture. Oh, thanks, Mel. Thank you, good luck. Thank you. Emery and Mel, they're really confused with my dish, and that's the way I want it. I don't get it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get it, too. Just hoping that this dish is a big surprise for the judges. It's called a pair of desserts. At the moment, I'm working on the pear. So the flavors inside refreshing and herbaceous. Now, I've got my pear halves. I join them together and then shape it to make it pear, as realistic as possible and then dip it in my green vanilla and matcha dip. It has to be really smooth, no imperfections. At this point, it's looking pretty good. A very dirty pear. <laughs> yeah, very organic. And then next thing, I add a bit more texture and color, get a bit of cocoa powder, and make it a bit more of a dirty looking pear. That final touch of the chocolate stem. Got my pear and ready to plate. And now I get on to making a second dessert which is going to be the actual plate. Renal, you OK over there, buddy? Oh, so much to do. The talent in this kitchen is immense. You know, I wish I could take a trip into Renal's mind. You know, he's got this pear that's not a pear, that's got a chocolate dessert on another dessert. I don't understand what it is. I have no idea. I'm confused. 30 minutes to go, and I still have to construct my actual dessert. So, still a lot, a lot to do. I'm trying to create a beautiful Chinese money plant. I'm really happy with the tempering for the pots. They are nice and firm. At least it came out of the mold. And the petals. But tempering my own chocolate was very ambitious. And now I'm really running behind. And I'm feeling really frazzled. Ooh. I still have to pipe all of the delicate individual branches. This is a very crucial element. If I don't get the branches, then it's not a Chinese money plant. Then it's just going to be a pot filled with dirt. Why? It's just not working for me. It's not tempered correctly, and it's not going to set. I can kiss the immunity goodbye. I'm feeling a lot of pressure now because I'm not too entirely happy with the twigs, so I'm doing a second batch. 
If the chocolate is not properly tempered, then it won't hold its shape and you can kiss the immunity goodbye. But um, I'm still thinking positive. We're not at the end of the cook yet, so I've still got some time to fix it up. Hey, Jess. <laughs> What are you making? Um, I've just made my green petals, and I'm just making the twigs. They seem to be setting, but it's just all about whether they will stick on the actual dessert. We'll see if it works out in the end. It's all about bending chocolate to your will. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Tempering chocolate really pushed me back a lot. I still have to plate my dish. I need to assemble it together. OK, OK. And I just have to work really, really, really fast. Almost there. I'm creating a pair of desserts. I want it to look like it's a singular dessert, but it's actually two desserts. The pair of shaped dessert is done. So now I'm working on the second dessert, the plates. The layers of pair components are hidden within the plate. So now I spray it with a black chocolate to color match the plate. and a little dusting of the silver luster to kind of really recreate that glittery look. I think it looks pretty cool. It's quite realistic. If the judges can't tell that it's edible, that's like one off the bucket list. I'm so frantic. Where is my candied orange peel? And got to assemble my Chinese money plant in the pot part of the dessert. I've got all the layers, the biscoff salt, almond dakwa, and the infused orange grenache on the top. Plating time. Plating time. You happy with the temper? I'm actually very, very happy with yeah. the temper. I'm really relieved that the chocolate branches are set in time. Chinese money plant, they grow up sideways yeah. all around, so I want to achieve that look. I'm going to stay right here during the whole plating. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> oh, when, it's, when it's nicely asked, I, I respect. <laughs> Look how cute. Wow. Nice. I love it. I think <laughs> it's so cool. I think visually you did incredibly well. It's very cute. It's so cute. It's very cute. It is a Chinese money plant. Oh. There's a lot of attention to detail in terms of realism. All right, let's reveal the layers. Ready? That's kind of dirty. <laughs> it looks lovely. I love those layers. Yeah. You know, when you cut and everything is solid, this has life. So on the bottom, um, I've made my biscoff, and then a roasted Earl Grey cremeau, and then you've got the almond dakwa, the candied orange peel, and then on the top is the orange infused ganache. Just like in your previous desserts, you show us that you know how to craft things to perfection. Chocolate tends to be rich. This one is very fresh, very light. Very good job. <laughs> it had that signature personality from you. It's cute, it's considered, it's fun. <laughs> uh, bonus point for me, uh, massive chocolate tempering. You really pushed yourself yeah. to craft a different experience. Thank you so much. Well done, Jess. Well done, Jess, thank you. Hearing Emery's feedback, I think I feel quite proud. It's a lot of work. It's huge. And my chances of getting an immunity are pretty good. I think my dish is quite realistic. And I hope it's a big surprise for the judges when they eat it. Ay, ay, ay. This is a pair of desserts. A pair of desserts. So it's a play on words, uh, a pair of desserts. So basically two desserts, one dessert and the bottom dessert. And you eat all together, it's meant to kind of pair with the pair. I don't get it. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm explaining it, it doesn't make sense to. Okay. 
I'm really excited to get into this. And the pear flavors aren't in the pear, it's in the plates. In the plates? Yes. Just crack right into it. He's having us eat the plates. having us eat the plates. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stunning. This is fabulous. Wow. I love this. You haven't even tasted it yet. The sparkle, everything is so refined, it's pure. All right, let's dig in. So the actual pear shape, that one there is a dolce and vanilla whipped ganache, and the center there is a caramelized honey with yuzu gel. Inside the plate, you've got a pear compote, a compressed pear, and the center cake with uh, filtering chocolates. It's so good. Thank you. The pear is very surprising. It's fresh, it's light, the chocolate is thin. And it pairs so well with the plate. Flavor and texture-wise, you are really spot on, just like the last dish you presented us. And the, the surprise element, it's wonderful. You got me from afar. At any restaurant, you are presented this for the, the last memory you will have of your experience. It's phenomenal. But if I can just say one thing, I think the chocolate makes it hard to get all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Reynolds, there is a lot of chocolate which does take away from the lightness of the dish. However, I think you've really thought about flavour, texture, dimension, balance. And in that regard, I think it's very, very clever work. We're so close to a perfect dish. Thank you, Reynolds. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. Reynolds. Legend.